Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm just going to go through a quick video on Arduino breakout boards, so let's go. So for those of you who use Arduinos, you would know that the Arduino has a soldering spot and a header pin for that pin allocation. Now, if we need to use more than just one wire attached to that one pin, what we're going to do is actually set up this breakout board. So you can buy these on eBay or anywhere quite cheap. They come in a kit and basically you have the header pins that you need to solder on and also you get a reset button in most of the packets as well. So all we need to do is add the header pins into the spots that we need to. Now they do go on the outside of the rails. Now they line up with the Arduino itself. Once you get them all lined up, you can solder them into place. Just make sure that you have a good connection on all your soldering points. Make sure you double check that the pins are actually straight, especially for those longer rails. They can sometimes be facing on a bit of an angle when you solder them. Make sure they're straight to make it easier for the breakout board to actually slot into your Arduino. As you can see, I'm just soldering two points at a time first, making sure it's straight, and then soldering all the others. Now I do go back and redo the solder because it's a little bit messy to begin with. Solder those header rails to the correct pins and then once that's done you want to install the reset switch. Now the reset switch has the four pins you just need to solder those down onto each one of those. Once that's done your breakout board's ready to be attached to your Arduino. Alright so here you go the breakout board's ready to go. You just slot it over the top of those headers on the Arduino. Now they all line up in place so you can't get it the wrong way or put it on incorrectly. Basically you just push down gently across all those surface areas. Don't just push in one spot just to make sure that you don't bend any pins. And then as you can see you've got your reset button on the top which has replaced the reset button that's underneath it on the actual Arduino. So it's too hard to reach now, so that's why it's handy to have that reset button on the top. Now you can use this breakout board for whatever you want. You can solder on wires, resistors, LEDs. We've got these extra headers, so if you want, you can actually have something slot into those headers on top of that board. You have the headers, which are the male ones, which are just the pins. So you basically have a wide range of anything you want to do on top of this board now without actually soldering direct onto the Arduino. We've also got a surface mount type of setup here where you could solder a chip directly onto that board as well. So one thing I will point out if you're using the headers make sure that when the pins go through they don't go down too far and actually contact anything underneath. Now these headers are longer ones you can get shorter ones. Now, the other thing the board has is rails dedicated to the 5 volt and ground. So you can see there's a whole rail here where it's easier then to maybe connect switches or LEDs or whatever you want off that actual rail and you don't have to then break out from that one pin. You can also solder on another board on top of that. As you can see here, I've actually got a LED module which you can solder on. Now, if you want, you can install headers first and then clip that in. It's a, it depends on what you want. You can also fit a miniature breadboard on top of here if you wanted to maybe test some parts or whatever you want. You can actually sit it sideways. So there's a lot of different uh, things you can do. Now, there's that much room on the top of this board. I've got a completely made up setup here of a breadboard which has a... ESP unit attached and a switch and a server motor all that fits on top of the actual breakout board Now you're not going to be able to fit anything like this on top of the Arduino So this is a bit of an extreme uh, Case here, but it shows you how you can actually utilize a lot more space on top of your Arduino So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to set up a breakout board for an Arduino now you can do similar breakout boards for other things like Arduino Mega and also things like Raspberry Pis as well. So if you want to see those as well, let me know. That's about it from me. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can see other projects similar to this. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.